Good morning, it is Wednesday, I don't know, July something. Um, we're gonna go over the Honda Grom today. I'm gonna show you what that looks like here. Fail, if you think that's a Honda Grom, you're living in your basement or your mom's or grandma's or aunt's basement uh, eating Cheetos and, and whatnot, that's not a Grom. So, let's show you the real one. So the Grom came in two body styles. This is a new body style. That's the old body style. Everybody knows what these things are, okay? This is probably the most commonly modified bike here in the United States. This and the Ruckus. So if you don't know what the Grom is, uh, I don't know where you've been. If you don't have internet, we're still using dial up or whatever. So this is my personal bike and the story behind this. So Carter bought a Kawasaki Z125. I think he traded it for his Lambretta. And I rode it around and thought, holy crap, holy cow, this thing's fun. Um, but I don't really want to spend three, four thousand dollars for a little bike like this when I get something a little bigger. So what I did was I, rather than building a Grom, I said, okay, I'm gonna go out and buy a Duke 390 because they're forty-two hundred dollars out the door, brand new. They're tons of fun to ride. I bought the Duke because I thought to myself, if I get a Grom, I'm gonna spend thirty-five hundred bucks on the bike. I'm gonna spend three or four thousand dollars in parts. I'm gonna do this and that. I'm gonna be in this thing for like seven or eight thousand dollars. And that's exactly what I did with this after I bought the Duke and I still have the Duke. So the Duke is fun, it's, it's a total blast, but this is just different. If you're on a ride and you're trying to spot people with Groms, you just follow the smell of the um, uh, cotton candy vape or the, the, the berry vape that you smell in, in events. So a lot of times they'll have like the charger holster here for like an extra battery pack. I don't understand what all that stuff is because I don't, I don't, I don't do that. Um, but if you want to find a Grom rider, typically you follow the vape smell or the sound of the uh, rev limiter or typically somebody doing a wheelie and flipping out and crashing into somebody else. That's how you find the Grom rider at the event. But in all seriousness, they are a ton of fun. Carter, Yo. Carter, what'd you get? I got corn dogs. How many? Only they only had seven. They only had seven. <laughs> so who's gonna get shorted? I don't know. Not me. <laughs> I didn't buy it. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's you two. <laughs> Come on, Ed. I want you to talk about. The, hey, hey! I want you. Hey, I want you to make fun of the mechanics of his bike. Get into the mechanics of it, like you know what you're talking about. Yo, bro, your torque is so whack, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, look at your bike. Your, your your power coat's chipping off. It's falling apart. Yeah, but I got the C Moto custom body kit, son. And I haven't seen so many scratches since. Your girl scratched my back. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh scooter drama is oh, real. Oh, oh, oh. No, I don't want to jack race right hey, now. Hey, let me. Drive 10 manual. Le, hey, let me see you stunt. Ed's gonna stunt. Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 the crowd goes wild! Yeah! Oh, here we go! Here we go! Do, do, go around! Goose! <laughs> this is a 2018. Um, it's got five or six hundred miles on it, something like that. It's got the Kitako side cover, and what this does is this allows you to run an oil filter because Groms don't have oil filters. They have a spinner in here that catches stuff supposedly so this allows for an oil filter and also has outlets for your oil cooler so this cover accomplishes accomplishes two things so that's why i run that cover i have the uh the coso 170 big bore kit and that's where i'm running my stainless steel lines here made in portland to an oil cooler up front so this is the 170 the 170 uh bore kit this is the Koso four valve head that's been ported by MBS and he did a killer job. It's got the Koso throttle body, custom made scooter swap shop intake, real easy, piece of silicone, um, very simple. Taiga carbon fairing, Taiga rear um, fender, or rear uh, uh, fender, which is really nice too. Hindle pipe, we had to modify it, modify this pipe for some reason, I forget, but the bracket didn't work out. We had to make a bracket. Um, and then on this guy, we have our CNC build axle slider. Suspension is totally stock. That's gonna change a little bit. Um, it's got the Composimo 
rear sets, I've got the Composimo bars, and then as far as aesthetics, it's pretty much stock. Um, I just like them kind of clean the way they are. On this side, on this side we have the fourth bearing support. Um, you can't see it obviously because uh, it's inside the cover. But what the fourth bearing support does is is allows this crank to have more to have more support. So basically, these things shake like crazy. I have buddies that have actually cracked rear sets because they vibrate so much. So. They're really shaky motors at high RPM. On this one, the fourth bearing support helped, and then I have a uh, hard racing engine brace, which you can't see down there, and it, it helps brace the motor, and it's actually not too bad. Maybe in time, it's, I'm sure it's gonna get worse because it's low miles, um, and right now it doesn't shake too much. So, And then I have the, the man of the box fender eliminator with the LED as well. So this thing wants to rev to 13,000. So it's probably gonna blow up soon, uh, but we're just gonna ride it till it dies. I'm fucking suck at that. Pretty sure just destroyed the Grom motor. Uh, had it in first gear, trying to get rid of this tire. Grabbed second gear, went straight into neutral, and uh, made some really loud noises. And now it's smoking like crazy. So my next video is going to be the teardown of the Grom. It has just under 900 miles on it, and I've already blown it up. But I'm glad it happened here in the shop and not um, out on the street. So coming soon is what happened to the Grom motor? Why? It, well, I know why it blew up. Um, what happened to it? and how we're gonna fix it and make it even better. So thanks for watching and uh, wish me luck.